In this exercise, you'll create a fairly complex assembly with a depressed median and separate lanes. So let's go about creating an assembly baseline. Go ahead and open up your corridor-3A drawing, which is located in your Tutorials folder. Next, go to your Home tab, and then to your Create Design panel. Click the Assembly drop-down, and select Create Assembly. We get our Create Assembly dialog box. We're going to go ahead and give it a name. Call it Divided Highway, and then click OK. Now we're being prompted in the command line to specify assembly baseline location. Go ahead and click anywhere within the drawing to set this baseline. You'll see that the viewport zooms to the assembly baseline, which looks like this. So let's go ahead and add a median subassembly. If the tool palette containing the subassemblies is not visible, go ahead and go up to your Home tab, and then within Palettes, click this icon right here. Within the tool palette, right click on the control bar and make sure that you have Civil Imperial subassemblies checked. After that, click on the Medians tab. Go over to this subassembly, Median Depressed Shoulder Extension. And what I want you to do is right click on this and then select Help. In here, you can review the diagram to better understand the subassembly. Now go ahead and click on the subassembly. In the Properties palette under Advanced, we're going to change a few things. Under Centerline Pivot, change this to Pivot About Centerline. After that, we're going to keep our median widths the same. In the drawing, go ahead and click on the marker. You can see that we now have a depressed median and the inside shoulders drawn. Next, we'll add a lane subassembly. In the drawing, pan to the left edge of the median depressed shoulder extension subassembly. Zoom in so that you can see the marker right here. Go ahead and click the Lanes tab and select Lane Super Elevation AOR. This subassembly inserts a travel lane that follows the slope for the super elevation properties of the alignment. In the properties, go ahead and go into your advanced area. For the side, we're going to change this from right to left. And for the width, we're going to assign it 24 feet. Now in the drawing, go ahead and select this marker point. And when we zoom out, we see how it fits together nicely. Now we're going to add a shoulder subassembly. In the drawing, pan to the left side of the last assembly that you just inserted. And in the tool palette, click the Shoulders tab. And select Shoulder Extend Subbase. Go over to your Properties panel, and under Advanced, we're going to change a few things here as well. We're going to keep it on the left side, but for Use Super Elevation Slope, we're going to change this to Left Outside Shoulder. And everything else, we're going to leave it at its defaults. This sets these slopes to the Outside Shoulder Super Elevation Slope. In the drawing, select this marker right here, which is the marker point at the top outside edge of lane on the finish grade to add the paved shoulder. We can go ahead and zoom out and pan around. Go ahead and press Enter again to exit that out of the command. Now we're going to add a daylight subassembly. In the drawing, we're going to zoom into this area right here. Now click the Daylight tab. Now right click on the Daylight Standard subassembly and click Help. 
Go ahead and review this diagram and behavior section to better understand the cut and fill daylighting behaviors. In the tool palette, go ahead and select daylight standard. In the drawing, go ahead and click the marker at the outside edge of the shoulder extend subbase subassembly to add the daylight slopes for cut and fill. And you can see how that looks. Lastly, we're going to mirror the subassemblies to the right side of the baseline. Press Escape to exit the subassembly placement mode. In the drawing, we're going to zoom out a bit. I want to turn off my tool palettes here so we can see the entire thing. I'll go ahead and select the daylight, the shoulder, and the lane subassemblies. Then right click and select mirror. Zoom in to the right side and click the marker point at the top edge of the median subassembly to draw the mirror of everything else. Go ahead and zoom out and you can see how everything appeared very nicely. Now the mirror command creates a mirror image of the selected subassemblies. All the subassembly parameters are maintained except for the side parameter. Also note that the parameters of the mirrored subassemblies are not dynamically linked. If you change a parameter value for a subassembly on one side of the assembly baseline, the change will not be applied to the opposite side. So that's how you go about creating a divided highway assembly in Civil 3D.